Hello all, in today's video, I would like to provide my personal opinion on Judo Black Bay Chrono SNG. SNG being steel and gold in this case. The box comes with usual paperwork and warranty card. The watch is with 41mm steel case, dome sapphire crystal and brown aged leather strap. The leather strap comes with a removable bun, which is a retro and an acquired taste for sure. Also with folding clasp and safety catch. Being an H leather strap, it is very stylish to wear but I would anticipate a quicker wear and tear. A couple of judo engravings on the steel buckle. A fixed bezel with 18 karat yellow gold markings and matte black anodized aluminum disc with tachymetric scale. Equipped with manufacturer caliber MT5813 cost certified movement. This movement is based on Breitling B01 chronograph movement, self-winding with bidirectional rotor system. Hence, you can say it is a two-door with a Breitling movement. Screw down crown as the watch is still in a Black Bay family with 200 meters water resistance. Yellow gold screw down pushers at two o'clock and four o'clock positions. Pressing the two o'clock pusher to start and stop the chronograph or stopwatch function, however you call it, and 4 o'clock pusher for a quick reset. The hassle is to maneuver the screw down crowns as it is not just simply push and go like a typical stopwatch. Obviously, it is an independent function from its basic timekeeping function. The black dial seriously looks retro and it has a solid gaze back. Two door rows on the crown, as usual for the Black Bay family. The leather bun is removable to those who doesn't like an extra piece of hot leather on the wrist. Although it is 41mm, it doesn't look too big on my 6.5 inch wrist. Probably due to its combination of dial and bezel design. The watch is 14.2mm thick as understandably has to accommodate a chronograph and date display function. And 0.4mm thinner than Black Bay Pro. The black bezel with tachymeter markings in gold make this 41mm dial look slightly smaller but it seems like its size when comparing side by side with Black Bay 58. There's no denying that BV58 is a perfect everyday watch for me but Chrono in this color combination has its own charm. Honestly, at times, I find the snowflake hands a bit distracting as it covers the subdials. Also at 6 o'clock position, it completely covers the date window. Although BB Chrono has a dive watch capabilities, I'm not sure how useful the chronograph function will be underwater. Perhaps we should simply enjoy this as a chronograph watch. Here's a loom short comparison between Black Bay Chrono and Black Bay 58. For obvious reasons, the loom markers at 3, 6 and 9 o'clock positions are missing for Black Bay Chrono. Now to answer why I chose this Black Bay Chrono SNG because 1. I wanted a chronograph on a Black Bay family, 2. A Black Bay on a leather strap, and this model fits the bill. The reason I got this SNG model was because a Panda dial wasn't available. Although this combination of black and gold is not too shabby and I come to love it more with time. Since I have all the three models of Diver, Chronograph and GMT under Black Bay family, I can now say that I own a Black Bay Holy Trinity from Tudor. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. What do you think of this Black Bay Chrono SNG on a leather strap? As usual, appreciate if you can like the video and subscribe to this channel. Take care and see you soon.